Hey guys, Crazy Dave here. Hey, this is the monster dry age meat locker, steak ager, whatever you want to call it, dry age beef machine, whatever. It's got multiple names uh, in the industry of what we call it. Basically the home consumer version of dry aging your meat. Well, what am I doing right now? I'm actually finishing the process of modifying this thing and making it even better. So what I got? Well, I moved the shelf up. I've got my salt block here into a glass dish. I might actually change that and put it into a stainless steel uh, food grade dish. I'm not sure about that. Now over here, far over in the right, that's the uh, UVC light. But right here, I want to show you guys something. There's a USB port plugged into this. There is a USB port that's on the bottom of this unit. Awesome. Because I took this wire and I ran it all the way down to the bottom here to a secondary UVC light that I made and these are the fans. So this cord powers the fans. Now what do I got here? A four port USB hub. I'm going to plug some of these more fans right here into the bottom and the top to create a cyclone effect of the air. Now what I did is I did a, or tried doing a clean install here of the cable and I zip tied them all together here. We're going to follow this all the way to the front of the door. Goes all the way down like that. And then right here you'll notice it turns black. Why is that? That is black electrical tape that I wrapped on the cord as it goes outside the door. Because I didn't want a whole bunch of cords hanging outside the door which basically creates a lot of uh, openings here in the door and I don't want that. I want to keep it as much control as possible. Well I'm going to keep putting this thing together because I've got a whole bunch of meat to dry age. Stay tuned. You're watching Crazy Days Kitchen. Well stay tuned and I'll show you the supply list of items. Most of these items can easily be located on Amazon. Here is a quick overview of the fridge. You'll see I tie wrapped the wiring. There is the secondary UVC light. Okay guys, a little coffee bean and Crazy Dave decided to call this machine the Monster Meat Locker. Well there it is, fully loaded with a whole bunch of meat. I'm going to actually try to dry age some tri-tip and I'm going to do it at different intervals to see how it comes out. But what I did is I labeled each one of these cuts, if you can see it here, let's see here, there you go. And I labeled the cut, the meat, the total weight, how much it was a pound, and how much each one of these slabs was. Well, there you go. Here's a couple photos of some recent dry-aged Angus ribeye. Now, this one here was aged for 35 days. Look at that beautiful color. And, man, these things tasted amazing. So here's a list of the items you need. Of course, a refrigerator. I got the Monster Beverage Cooler. Any refrigerator will work. Just make sure that the freezer section is not part of the refrigeration section. Otherwise, you're going to have some major issues with the humidity. So get one that will go down between 35 and 38 degrees. And you'll be perfectly fine. UVC light, very, very important to have. Most people like this one on Amazon from Germa Guardian. Works perfectly fine. Now myself, I actually bought two. I've got this one, but then I've also added a second one, which is for aquariums. Now the second one here, I got this one here on Amazon, and I basically bought this along with a ammo box and some USB fans. I used a drill saw, cut some holes into it, I added the USB fans, and then I slid the UVC light through two additional holes. So basically, it's a self-contained unit. One fan goes in, the other fan blows out, and the UVC light remains hidden. Because remember, you don't want to be looking directly at this. Now, the next item is sensor push. Highly recommended, not required. It monitors both your humidity and your temperature and sends you alerts via Bluetooth through your phone. Now here coming up is the USB powered fans. I ended up getting three sets. Remember, one set is on that UVC. 
the two other sets, I'm going to put one set on top of the refrigerator and the other set on the bottom. Inkbird. Now, this one here, I've got both individual units separately. Most guys like to have the single unit. It controls your temperature and your humidity. The temperature unit actually controls when your cooler kicks on and off. Next, you're going to need some flat wire appliance cords. What I like about this one is it only had to plug on one end. So I fed it through the door. Then I added the female connection and now it's complete. Humidity and temp gauges. Now these ones are the ones I like and I have two of them. One for the upper tray and the lower tray. You never have enough gauges. Himalayan salt block. Now I got two. One for the upper and one for the lower part of the refrigerator. And I also do recommend that you put them in some glass dishes. And finally, one box of kosher sea salt. I like to add this in line with the sea salt blocks. I add some in each one of the trays. It helps to absorb the moisture. It's that easy to make your own dry aged meat locker. If you're interested in learning how to make your own dry aged meat, come join us at Facebook at Dry Aged Meat. Subscribe to our YouTube channels and like us on Facebook, Crazy Days Kitchen, and A Little Coffee Bean. If you want to support our projects, we can really use some gift cards. We'll be sure to thank you personally in one of our videos. In fact, we donate most of our food within the community. And of course, we appreciate any items you want us to showcase and give an honest review. Well, thanks for watching. Contact us at the following information.